Welcome back to my series, Dance Moms Uncovered. The rise of Dance Moms occurred at the same time when social media really took off. So as a result, there is a ton of behind the scenes footage that was captured by fans and has revealed some very interesting secrets about the show. Because we know that there was more to Dance Moms than the producers cared to show. Feel free to share your thoughts on the following evidence. First, let's look at Kelly's recital freakout. The 2013 ALDC showcase was held in season three, episode 30. During this episode, we saw Kelly get super upset about Maddie receiving a solo on the day of the recital. Well, it is super interesting to watch the unedited behind the scenes footage from this scene. As it turns out, Abby volunteered Maddie to do her survivor solo. However, when Kelly pointed out that none of the kids wanted to do a solo to replace Paige, Abby decided to try and make it look like Maddie volunteered herself, even though she didn't. Would anybody else like to do a new number? Anybody? The opportunity for another solo. Anybody interested? Maggie, you have your survivor number that you learned? Get a clue. It's a TV show we're filming. Wake up. Kelly proceeded to get upset and yell about how fake the show is. She also says that nobody besides Paige has ever been assigned to do a solo on the day of the recital and that her kids are intentionally set up to look bad. Would anyone like to take the place and do a solo? It's something new that we haven't done in a recent competition. Please? Anybody? Maddie, what? The number you did for Ultimate? Good. I'll have the links to both these versions of this scene in the description box so that you can check out this scene for yourself because it is definitely worth the watch to get a good idea of how the show is edited. Abby has spoken about this fight in the podcast, stating that Kelly was actually looking for a way to get out of filming that day so that she can attend an annual picnic day with her kids' school district that she had never missed before. It's Kelly walking out again. Because it was their Kennywood picnic. Each school district has a day that they go. Yeah. And it happened to fall on that day of our dance concert. I knew we weren't going to see her. <laughs> Every year she does it. Do it. I could never have her kids solos on the day that it was the, the, the school picnic. Next, let's explore the Studio 19 drama. The owners of Studio 19, Katie Watts and Tammy Krofcheck, have been very quiet online about their roles on Dance Moms. Considering how insane the drama with them was during season eight, you would think that more information would be available about them. Luckily for us, there have been people who have recorded what really happened behind the scenes and people who have spoken out online. First of all, Michelle, who is Sarah Georgiana's mother, has spoken out about her experiences with Studio 19 in an interview. According to her, she says that Abby has an issue with where Sarah has chosen to train in the past, especially Studio 19, since it is in the same area of Pittsburgh as the ALDC and the studio's are rivals. Abby has said in a live stream that she hates having another studio's business slammed in her face by the mums, especially since she has attended competitions and seminars with them for years. They're gonna slam other people in my face? No, I'm not putting up with it. And Michelle, let's face it, she made a huge mistake in her child's education. While a lot of people know that Chloe went to Studio 19 after leaving the ALDC, not that many people would know that Kendall actually went there for several years before the show and actually began training there again in 2017. Michelle also set the record straight by revealing that Sarah only attended Studio 19 for a single year. So it makes sense that Michelle didn't want to credit Studio 19 with making her child the dancer that she is. In fact, Michelle was told at the auditions, most likely by producers, not to tell anyone that she had trained at Studio 19. While there is indeed a long history between these studios, not all the drama is rooted in reality. 
Watch this clip of Michelle arguing with Tammy. You can see that her producer is telling Sarah where to stand. And at the end, Michelle looks to the producer to receive directions on what to say next. According to the people who witnessed this fight, it was incredibly staged. Apparently they would keep stopping during their so-called fight, and the producers were basically telling them exactly what to say to one another. There is also a clip from later this day, where it appears that there is a lady directing Tammy on what she should say when she runs into Abby, and this is what I believe she is saying. So perhaps a lot of drama in this season was just manufactured. Evidence number three, Abby pulling the numbers. In May this year, during the filming of season eight, Abby took to Instagram and went live at a competition. She claims that she is fed up with the producers because a man entered the ALDC dressing room during the competition that day and shouted a curse word angrily in front of a room full of young dancers and their parents. When a man says, the F word in a hostile, cruel, anger, angry way, that's just unacceptable. And let me know if you think that it's okay for a producer who is male, who screams the F word in a dressing room that was probably 30 by 20, at a woman in front of other women and young children. As a result, Abby goes to the competition assistant and asks if she can pull the ALDC numbers. However, producer Brian Stinson catches her as she is doing it and asks why she is pulling the dancers. She explains that until they removed the man who swore at her dancers, that the ALDC would not perform. But I'm going to have to pull all of the numbers and nobody from the Abby Dance Company will be dancing today. It's like maybe to some not a big deal. Okay. To me, it's a big deal. You don't want to compete today? Oh, no, we want to compete. Oh, you didn't pull the numbers. Well, I'm pulling the numbers until that man is removed. Before long, Abby reveals that the producers didn't pay her on time and that they never fixed the ALDC parking lot. Presumably, these are conditions of her return for season eight. I'm mad that Lifetime can't pay their bills on time. The, the That's number one. It's on the way. I know, but why did it take 13 weeks? Because you just signed it. No, but why did it take 13 weeks? Why wasn't it here on the fourth week? And, but why isn't the parking lot fixed? Why isn't the roof fixed? This all went down in episode 14 of season 8. However, there was nothing to be seen in the final edited episode that suggested that any of this drama even happened. Four, the producers influencing the competitions. There are several clips from behind the scenes of competitions that reveal the amount of influence that the producers have over the competition. First of all, in several clips that fans filmed at competitions, you can see that the producers are telling the audience when to cheer so that the cameras can capture their reactions. According to a dance mom who attended a dance mom's competition as a competitor against the ALDC, the producers get to view the numbers that the ALDC's rivals can perform in advance. The producers would also tell the audience when to cheer. It's the, the producers ask you to stand up and, and clap for standing ovation. Wow. They actually select the numbers that the teams perform. Wow. They, they select one of your numbers, so you give them options. Yes, they select your numbers as well. So even if the judges aren't bribed or coerced in some way by the producers, they can simply allow better studios or numbers to enter the competition on the weeks that they want the ALDC to lose. Furthermore, the producers are in charge of entering numbers into the competitions on behalf of the ALDC. There is a clip of Abby yelling at a producer because he forgot to enter JoJo's solo Own It into the competition. I don't send it in. It's Own It. I said it three times on camera. The name of the music is Own It. It's a jazz dance. JoJo did get to perform this day, although it wasn't aired on the show. This all means that technically the producers could enter routines into the competitions without Abby knowing about them far in advance. Kira has also posted a clip online of an ALDC merchandise store which was set up at a competition. Sarah, 
Just wondering, does anybody else sell your merchandise at a dance competition? Just wondering. This is a pretty bold move on the ALDC's part, because the fact that the competition permitted them to sell their merch makes it seem like they are playing favourites. It definitely lowers the credibility of the competition that they are attending, which from what I could tell was probably sheer talent. Lastly, let's look at a couple of extra clips. There were so many other clips that I wanted to share that I just couldn't narrow them down. So here are a few of the other most fascinating clips that I found online. There is some behind the scenes footage from the season five reunion special where Melissa and Holly are fighting. Holly gets upset because she says that Melissa and Jill are lying about what she said to Nia. Then Melissa says that no one ever lets her speak her truth. And she says that the show made it look like she had an affair when she didn't. But that's not right and it's not true. Okay, but you got, I know we're up. No. But I can say it's not true, but they still show that I had an affair and I didn't. There is a clip of the ALDC and Candy Apple dancers hanging out together backstage. They seem to be pretty friendly with each other in real life, even though on the show it looks like there's a bit of rivalry. And lastly, when Abby was holding auditions for the mini team, there is footage of Brian Stinson telling Abby to stop worrying about tap because they are never going to do it on the show. Don't forget tap. Comparing a lot of these behind the scenes clips and information, it is clear that what we see on TV is often a lot more different from how things actually happened. Be sure to check out the links in the description box to support the people who posted these clips. So what do you guys think? If you could get the behind the scenes footage of any scene, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!